Hello everyone, this is Mr. Gallon here, and welcome back to the 15th episode of Tutorial Let's Play series. Now, as you guys saw in the last episode, it was uh, kind of a disappointment in the standard of we didn't defeat Do Fiction, and that was literally the only goal of the whole entire episode. But in today's episode, we will be defeating Duke Fishon, and I have a super secret strategy. Basically, is while I was going through all the editing for last episode, I realized that when I died the second time to Duke Fishon, I died without any buffs on. So I was actually fighting Duke Fishon with no buffs for some time, and I didn't even realize that. So that was completely my fault and why I lost, but... Yeah, we're gonna give it another go, and actually, I have everything right now. What the? Okay, let's take care of these guys. All right, but also, let me. I I have to do this like every episode, but like twenty five should be good. Okay, but I will be using the mythical. Uh, I made I made a mythical laser machine gun. It this thing shreds. This thing shreds. Let me get my hat of healing on real quick. Alright, and now let's do this. There we go. Here we go. Dude, fish on does not stand a chance against me now. And I don't care how many mana potions we have to drink, we are we are beating him. Ooh. Alrighty, alrighty, we're we're gonna do this, guys. Look, look at this. This is too easy. I've been quiet this whole time, and I haven't even had to sweat or anything. I think just to play it safe, we are going to add this one, and we defeated Duke Fishon. Wow, easy peasy lemon greasy. Am I right? All right, but oh, we didn't get we didn't get the weapon we wanted, but we got this. We got the tsunami. So that's uh that's cool I guess. We're not gonna use it at all, but so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be just I'm just gonna be cutting ahead in the video while I face off against uh, more Duke Fishrons. Cause uh this is gonna be a Duke Fishron uh just good old a uh, speedrun because he's dog. He's dog now. Now nah, let's do this. Dude, fish on is going down. Boom. We want the fish on wings. And also the uh, bubble gun. Alright, yeah, see, so he's significantly faster in this mode. So, which means... Alright, so I prefer the healing in the second stage because... Yes, sir. Okay, okie dokie. Okie wokie. Oh crap. Alrighty. Oh, we got the bubble gun! We. This is the... Yeah, this is the 77 magic damage. And I think those are homing. So what we're also going to do is we're also going to use the bubble gun. So I guess we give it a test round right now. 
I think was that mana sickness or what's about to run out. That's fine. I don't care. All righty. These compete with even fish rounds of bubbles. So if we get, yep, there we go. These are homing attacks too, so. These actually do pretty well. Like how I said I was gonna cut ahead in the video and I'm most likely not gonna cut any of this out. There we go, there we go. And the reason you use i -Core is cause it lowers the defense. Oh, okay, it's invulnerable, it's invulnerable. Oh crap. Okay, so that was a mistake. A mistake. It was a bad mistake. But actually, it doesn't... It really honestly doesn't even matter. We got what we needed to from there. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's cool. I, I don't even know what that's used for, to be honest. But it's whatever. But I will cut ahead in the video because I do like keeping me monies. That's one of the most precious things in the game to me, keeping me monies. So I will be back when I have all my money, okay? Oh, we got another one of these. Okay, guys, I'm back. I fought it again. Ugh. I thought I would get a different, um... Yeah, I thought I would get a different outcome, but I didn't. Or not a different outcome, but... I thought that I would uh, get the Razor Blade Typhoon, which is another mage weapon I need. But we didn't. We only got the bubble gun, which kind of sucks. Not, not not that the weapon sucks. It just kind of sucks that we only got the bubble gun. Because it would actually would have actually been nice to get the other ones. Uh, let, let's talk to this guy real quick. Caught in the surface hollow. I've never caught that fish once in my life. And I've fished in the hollow for quite some time. But anyways, another thing I have planned for this video, uh, I'll just walk and talk, is, um, uh, I'll actually, I can sell this bubble gun, but I'm gonna put some stuff up real quick. Uh, is we're gonna fight the pirates. And I don't know if I... It doesn't really matter if we fight the pirates or not. It's just... We're just gonna fight them. Six mana, and then three mana. And we can put... We can now put the Mythical Crystal Serpent up. That frees up one of our slots. Magnosphere is cool. I'll, I'll put it up. And I'll, I'll always keep this. I like this because of the crowd control. And it's mythical too, so it uses... Actually, it still uses quite a lot of mana, to be fair. <laughs> Um, nah, but the damage output for that is, I think, is better. But I think there's more versatility. Oh, these aren't even weapons. First of all, this isn't even a weapons chest. I think I actually need a new weapons chest, so we gotta find a new chest for use. Alright. Okay, so now we got a new weapons chest. We'll actually keep this one, put the flask up. Okay. But yeah, we are going to fight the pirates. And we're literally about to do it right now, so. Um, I don't think there's anything special from the pirates. It's just, I like fighting the pirates. And then I'll cut ahead, because I'm going to get some truffles. And then I'll be fighting more Duke Fishrons. This is literally, we're just going to be fighting Duke Fishrons and all that stuff today. Uh, Yeah, I think these guys take time to, yeah, they take time to, to come. But yeah, this is probably going to be a cakewalk, most likely. I'll use the bubble gun more. 117, 119. Didn't it just do 112? I don't... How is it doing more damage? And it's about to wear off too, anyways. So it's about to wear off in like, what, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it should go down to like... 105. Okay, it does 105 base damage. I could have swore that it literally showed it did less damage. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But, um... Jeez, Louise, these pirates are... They can be tired from waiting. 
No, but I was thinking once we for when we prepare for the Moon Lord, uh, we're probably we're gonna have to change up the arena because I can't have these walls. I can't have the walls here, and I'm not gonna want the asphalt. So yeah, so happy we're finally fighting the pirates. Oh, I forgot. There's a flying Dutchman. Yeah, I forgot about that. And the pirates give you a lot of money too, so I'll be I'll have plenty of money for days. But these are just the standard pirates and all that stuff, blow parrots and stuff. It's not even a pirate captor or anything. So there's really no point in uh staying too long. I'll cut ahead whenever I feel like I, I don't know. <laughs> I always feel, I always feel like I say like I'm gonna cut ahead and I wind up not cutting ahead. I cut ahead when I don't cut ahead or when I don't say it. So yeah. I just really don't think it matters that much. And it's gonna be super easy with this bubble gun. Like it's gonna melt these. Like we're honestly fine. I'm surprised how this didn't this didn't just naturally spawn like a pirate dead. Yeah, I'm surprised how they didn't spawn um, before the solar eclipse. I've had like f six different solar eclipses, but only one of these so far. Oh crap, look at this dude. Oh, flying Dutchman time. So, oh, is it not gonna come in the room? Whatever. Isn't it gonna fly? Okay, whatever. It's gonna- we're gonna melt through this anyways, cause we got this. So, that was fun. And another Flying Dutchman, but let's take care of the captain. The captain is gonna melt us away. Okay, we got rid of the captain. Uh, pop another heal. And we got rid of that. Alright, so let's get some monies now. Flying Dutchman Trophy. That's cool. Like how I really never sound that excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm always sounding like kind of bland. So good. I want you... Oh, that was fast. Jesus Christ. Only two... Fl oh, okay. Then this event kind of is... Kind of bad, to be honest. The trash event. But anyways, the reason it's not trash is because... Oh, all my buses are going to run out anyways. It's not trash, it's because this is the perfect event for me monies. You can sell up a storm in here, and I actually have a quite a quite a few pyro maps. So increases coin pick on range, that's just an accessory. Let's open up these presents. Nothing big like always. Trash that and we'll look at those. I will also sell this bubble gun. Yeah, I, I'm still confused on how the damage is like going up and down. Still kind of confused about that, but it, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is an accessory. Accessories. But anyways, I'll show you guys how much I have right here. Uh, where are my pirate maps at? Huh. Oh, here I was about to say, where are my pirate maps? I have eight pirate maps. Kind of had a brain fart right there, but I will be back when um, uh, when I have enough truffle worms and I'm fighting another Duke Fish on. Hey guys, sorry, sorry I was just quiet, but I'm back, I'm back. We are currently fighting the first Duke Fishron. On my return, I got eight Truffle Worms, so I should be. I'll save up my mana. Cause, yep. Alrighty, 
This is gonna be brief. So I forgot. We also need the Razor Blade Typhoon. And the, uh... And the wings. So we need two things. And we got the Razor Blade Typhoon! Ah! Crazy. It's broken, but hey, we got it, so... It uses quite a lot of mana. I'll try it out for like a second, but nothing too serious. But yeah, so this is what we're gonna be doing. I just want you guys to see me use the Razor Blade Typhoon. Yeah, like I think the uh, machine gun's better to be. Completely honest, until we get the, uh, until we upgrade the, uh, Razor Blade Typhoon to at least a mythical. Because <laughs> mythical is the only thing we want. Alright. There we go, there we go. I'm saving. He's about to turn. Alrighty. Another Razor Blade Typhoon. Significantly better, may I add. Alright, but yeah, I'm gonna just skip ahead. You guys are gonna get little fights here and there of me fighting the Duke Fishrom. But other than that, um, yeah, that's really all we're gonna be doing this episode. This episode was to make up for last episode. So, see you guys when I see you guys. Uh, we got a yeah, we just need a couple more. Who knows? I want to piece this together, but yeah, so another Duke Fish run. We don't have the magic damage we used to have, but that's completely fine. Oh my glob, I can't believe the painter just died. There we go. I think that's a summoning weapon, yeah. Right up. Right up. Yep, so now we just got uh, another one. Alrighty, so we got this one in, getting this one, and we'll get the next one. Having a 
good time fighting the Duke. Bubble gun. 98 and 12. It'll be more expensive to modify that one, but who really cares? Wonder when I'm gonna get the um the wings. Because the wings would be very helpful. I think that the closer you are with this gun, the better it is. Alright, so now he put those two down. Those are his first ones. So, let's recharge some mana real quick. Put this I-Core back. Yep, and now he's in the second phase. So, we're getting a bunch of that. Let's go. Oh, he spawned another one? Are you serious? Okay, we got the flare on. We're literally gonna get every... Okay, wow. So, literally the last thing to get is the wings. I only got two more attempts at this. Mm-hmm. So, let's face off against Duke Fishron. Fight me, Duke. But you gotta stop hitting the painter. Alrighty. Now, now, I don't think all bosses are affected by the I Core. Like, I know the Moon Lord isn't. We got the wings, guys. We got the wings. Okay, we've we will do this one for fun. Also, because dang, we got two platinum from all this. Yep. So, guys, I really want to thank you guys really for watching. I will show you what is n next in store for us right after Duke Fisher on. It'll just cut straight ahead to. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll be, I'll show you guys right now after, uh, I'll show you guys what we're going to do, uh, right about now. Hey guys. So, what I'm going to show you is the last boss we need to, or one of the last bosses we need to fight in order to get to the last boss. This one is called the Lunatic Cultist. So, if that gives you guys any ideas of what's going to go down. Yeah, Lunatic is in, is in the name. But yeah, I, I, I also, by the way, I took off, uh, these are the ones you have to kill in order to get the lunatic cultist you should have to fight against these guys we're not gonna fight them yet but yeah so i've literally just put on the f uh, fish on wings and they are absolutely amazing guys they are the mobility of them is so fast and don't worry i will sort through all of the weapons that i got i'm, I'm not gonna use the flare on this i'll show you guys what the flare on is over here so it doesn't it does all this stuff so this is the flare on it's a uh, it's for melee we have the Tempest Staff. I'm not going to use it because it's a... Actually, I'll summon it. But it's like that. It's just a little summon of a tornado that shoots the little things. The little things that the tornadoes that Duke Fishron shoots. The little sharks. And then we got a lot of bubble guns. But, yeah. This is good, guys. We are making good progress. So, we got the Lunatic Cultist and then the Moon Lord. 
but between that and it's just the Lunatic Cultist, Solar Pillars, and then Moon Lord, and then this Let's Play will be over. Which bring that actually makes me quite sad. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I can't wait to see you guys in the um uh, in the next one. Uh, bye bye.